Being a, a, a Jew, you know, being a UD is 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 a, the central part of my life. It's the center of my life. It's the nucleus of my life, but not in the sense of what what people might think. You know, um, being you know an, an Orthodox Jew or or being you know I don't think in those terms. I just think in in terms of a God fearing human being, you know, who is a custodian of God's planet. And, and really held to the highest standard of accountability in making sure God's planet runs the right way. And I think that's what a Jew is. That's what, that's what, uh, that's what an Israelite is. Um, you know, if you look at the history of it, you know, they made a promise to God. They made a contract with God. Because, you know, we live in a world where, you know, people are stealing, killing, doing all types of, you know, unspeakable things. So the reason they say the Israelites are chosen was not because of any racial or, or you know, um, ethnic, you know, reason. You know, it had nothing to do with being European or being African uh, or, or any such geographical, you know, um, uh, racial reasons. Zero. It just had to do with the type of human being type of neshama, type of soul, type of, you know, this type of guy you were. That's why you have the, the proselytization process from the beginning of Judaism. From the beginning, the very beginning of the nation of Israel, you know, you had converts because, you know, you can't convert to a race. You know, I can't, like, one day become white. You know, you can't one day become black. Although in today's culture, you know, you there are ways to, to blend. Yeah, no, no, no. It's it's interesting because in today's culture, it's it's a, in a, especially in American culture. I'm not sure so much in Israel. I think Israel definitely has a long way to go as far as getting to that race neutrality, and 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 that that one culture system. Maybe I I don't I don't spend much time in Tel Aviv. So I don't know how it is here, but you know more so in, in Jerusalem and what I see, you know, in America. It's like it's like a racial, you know, for the most part. You know what I'm saying? You have this one culture that doesn't deal with race. You know what I'm saying? Like there's no such thing as a black person or a white person. There's just ideologies, morals and values. And you know, if we have the same, then you know we're the same. And nobody thinks like that. Um, you know what I'm saying? So 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 for me, you know, I I, I be, being a Jew, you know, means representing you know, the highest level of morals and the highest level of values and the highest level of principles. That's what being a Jew means to me. You know, so when I make my music, when I, when I you know, live my life, you know, that, to me, that's my responsibility. You know, keeping Shabbat and, and eating kosher, and, you know, I just, while we were doing the interview, I stopped to say my prayer. You know, those are all things that police me and, and sustain what I know I'm supposed to do. Um, you know, because whereas, you know, there are men and women that can be, you know, extraordinary human beings without the policing and without the structure, I'm not one of those. You know, and, um, and, and neither was Moses. You know, there's a story about when, um, when, when Pharaoh heard that there was going to be a redeemer for the Israelites, he asked the, the one of the guys to come and draw. He said, I want to see what the Redeemer's going to look like. And so everybody that came in and drew a picture, he had them killed. And then finally, after like five guys getting killed, the fifth guy's like, listen, you know, I've, I see the same thing these guys see. He says, no, this picture that you're drawing, this person looks disgusting, looks ugly, looks dark. This can't be this great redeemer that you're talking about. But it was. The point is, Moses had to work on himself. Moses had the ability to be an animal. You know, the, 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 the what do you say, the, the nadir of moral depravity. He had that ability to go to the lowest part that a human being can go to because he also had the ability to go to the highest part. So a lot of people don't get that. A lot of people think being good is just like an automatic thing. And yeah, I'm a great person. So either you're great or you're not. No. A bad person can actually be a sadiq. He just has to work on himself. You know, 
Um, so, so, so again, that's what I represent in my album, in my music, in my culture, in my lifestyle. You know what I'm saying? You know, I haven't you know been in the extreme religious world, you know, to the zero religious world. I'm at I'm at a, a, a such a great centrist existence. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? So great. You know, so healthy, so balanced, and so efficient. Because that was always my thing. Even when I was a little bit more you know, into the black hat world. You know, so I haven't been in the black hat world and, and, and seen, you know, the highest, you know, extremes of, of religiosity and coming from, you know, zero religion and seeing everyone at every step, modern, you know, um, conservative, reform, you know. It really, the bottom line is being a good person. Because if you know more Gomorrah than, than, than I do, doesn't make you better than me. Now, if you're kinder than I am, if you're more generous than I am, if you're more tolerant, if you're more understanding, if you're more patient than I am, that qualifies you to be better. Bottom line is